From 4K to HDR, there are so many new options when it comes to picking the perfect TV. Rich DeMiro breaks it all down. The difference is in today's TechSmart. There are two times a year when TV sales spike, the holidays and just before Super Bowl. Today I'm explaining the latest TV terms. You know exactly what to look for if you're shopping for an upgrade. With the big game on the horizon, it's that time of the year when many consumers are considering a TV upgrade. With COVID-19 and people spending more and more time at home for work, for pleasure, for entertainment, the television, electronics have become an essential commodity. Video and Audio Center, some of the top selling sets continue to get bigger. Now you get more picture in a smaller space and people love that. A few years ago, all you had to look for was 4K. Now there are so many terms, you might need a dictionary to shop. The real benefit for a lot of people is that the prices have come down just a little bit while the quality has come up just a little bit. Brian Westover is an editor at the review website, Tom's Guide. His first recommendation, skip 8K. But 8K is still expensive enough and there's just not really 8K content available. When it comes to screens, OLED is best, but QLED is a more budget-friendly second. It's still an LCD TV, but it's enhanced with quantum dots, which help deliver better color, better brightness. For refresh rate, the minimum you want is 60 hertz, but 120 is better. Look for HDR or Dolby Vision if you want movies and TV shows to look their absolute best. Uh, the overall picture quality is improved with every form of HDR. As for specific recommendations, Brian's top overall pick is the LG CX OLED. It's not their most premium OLED, it's not their entry level OLED. It's a good mid-tier. And for a more budget-friendly set, check out the TCL 6 Series. It gives you quality on par with a $900,000 TV for much less. One final consideration is size. You want to sit about double the screen size away from your TV. That's about 10 to 11 feet away for a 65 inch set. I've got a link to a calculator that can help with that on my website. Just go to richontech.tv. I'm Rich DeMiro and you are tech smart.